Greetings everybody. Today amongst us we have the organizers of University Connect 5. So before moving ahead ma'am, ma'am please can you introduce yourself to the Hello, viewers? Yes please. My name is Isha Shah and she's uh, Sakshi Mittal. I have a company called, Univers uh, called uh, Directions Hub and her uh, company is University Connect. University Leap. Leap. Yeah. Sorry, yes. University Leap. And both of us are always together here, um, you know, on the platform of St. Joseph's College. This is our sixth year that we are having this education fair. And we are career counsellors. We help children from the level of 10th till the masters, where whatever we can do for them, the stream selections, the course selections, and thereafter the college applications, the, the choosing of the colleges, India or abroad, and then we also help them out for applications. So this is one of the things that we do every year is that we ask the universities to come and meet the children right here in their own town so that they can actually start uh, you know, thinking about it and know, have a little clearer picture where are they going to go, what they want to be and you know which colleges are suitable for them. So this is kind of a helpful uh, platform for them. A um, little bit Sakshi also is going to talk about yes. So hi, I'm Sakshi from University Leap. So so glad to be back to St. Joseph College in Nenital and this is our sixth year of doing this. So our whole purpose is to have the students meet universities from India, from all around the world, so that they know what career options are available to them, right? So nowadays, you know, most of the universities have courses which are very different, new age courses ranging from aerospace engineering to UI UX design to hospitality management, graphic design. So today we have about 20 plus universities, both from India and abroad, and we are hopeful that, you know, the students uh, enjoy that and, you know, get some knowledge about it. We're also, you know, uh, thankful to St. Joseph College to invite more than six uh, other schools in Nenital and give an opportunity to everyone around here. So uh, looking forward to the event and uh, hope the students, you know, have a great time. Yeah. And something, a uh, little thing that I want to say is thank you so much to... Um, Brother Jerome, Brother Sato, and Brother Lawrence, and Ms. HM ma'am, Zeba ma'am, because they're giving us our opportunity to come here and uh, giving giving us their you know premises always to have this kind of a event. Thank you, but anything else? No, ma'am. Thank you very thank much. You so Hope much. we see each other again. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Amongst us, we have the representative from RV University. So, ma'am, before moving ahead, can you introduce yourself and give us a short insight about the courses that you, the university provides along with the facilities? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, St. Joseph uh, School for inviting us, for hosting us uh, at this event. I am Ms. Bijoy Lakshmi and I am representing RV University. We are based out of Bangalore. So basically we are into education from last 84 years. So over a period of time we came up with many institutions and colleges and the university came up in 2021. At the moment we have got uh, seven major schools out of which we have got computer science and engineering, liberal arts and sciences, then law, uh, economics, business, uh, film, media and creative art and design and innovation. So these are some of our uh, major schools. Secondly, being a, a liberal uh, institutions, the students have the liberty to like uh, kind of choose interdisciplinary subjects as a major or minor. Like you know, if someone is having say a major in business and the child is interested into design or say into uh, filmmaking, he or she can always choose that subject as a minor subject. We are based out of Bangalore, and uh, Bangalore is uh, we all know the what's uh, uh, the startup capital of India and. Uh, uh, with a very good job opportunity and all. Uh, and um, secondly, the university, um, it's a huge campus. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's located on the outskirts of Bangalore, but the campus is around 55 acres. Very soon, in another one, one and a half or two years, we are coming up with an, another campus at Mysore also. Right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, ma'am, and you hope so you much. have a great day Thank ahead. You. Good morning everybody. Amongst us we have the representative from Plaksha University and so will be telling us about the insights of the university and the facilities that the university provides. So sir, before starting, can you introduce yourself please? Uh, yeah, hi everyone. My name is Milind and I am the regional manager from Plaksha University, Chandigarh. So uh, to give you an insight about our university, there are like about 1500 engineering colleges in India already. 
बट एज यू वी ऑल नो टेक्नोलॉजी हैज़ बीन एडवांसिंग एट एन एक्सपोनेंशियल रेट बट द चैनल चैलेंज विद हायर एजुकेशन इन इंडिया हैज़ बीन दैट द प्रोग्राम्स ऑफर टू स्टूडेंट्स इन इंडिया स्टिल ट्रेडिशनल दैट्स वाई आर फाउंडर्स फेल्ट दैट देर इज अ ह्यूज कैप बिटवीन द एजुकेशन एंड द जॉब सेक्टर Uh, the kind of uh, programs like i said which are being offered to the students are not aligned with the skills that actually the companies are looking for so the high paying jobs are actually uh, just just vacant for the students in india they say that about 90% engineering graduates in india are considered unemployable uh, the national employability report says 80% of 2019 but we feel that number is higher close to 90 even 92% so our programs at plaksha that we offer are interdisciplinary every program that we offer is a combination of few majors like the first program we offered is csai which is computer science and artificial intelligence uh, similarly other programs that we offer are robotics and cyber physical systems that is the future of mechanical engineering so it combines uh, electrical mechanical computation and machine learning you make drones you learn how autonomous cars are made how do the system behind them work uh, you make bionic arms similarly the third program we offer we offer is called biosystems engineering it's a program which teaches you engineering from a biological lens so you cover areas around genetics medical robotics you cover uh, how water technology what water technology is about clean energy similarly we cover almost all areas around human health planetary health then another program we offer which is very unique is called data science economics and business so data science is what computer science i mean it is at that juncture where computer science used to be in 1990s so any company big or small company actually looks at data these days big, the medium and the bigger companies actually have a team of data scientists to guide them where are the customers coming from where should they source their raw materials from or any small or a big decision is backed up by data these days so this program teaches you applications of data science in economics and business. Business. You learn about big data, game theory, data mining, data analytics, and uh, so uh, that's a little bit about the programs that we offer. But the more, more the the thing that is more important than these programs is the kind of faculty which is going to teach you. So that is even more important because you see, any university can say these days that we offer AI, we offer machine learning, but do you, does the university have the right faculty to teach these programs so our faculty comes from top engineering colleges they have phd's from top universities across the world like they have their engineering degrees from phd's from uc berkeley cornell there is there are faculty from london school of economics faculty who have taught at mit and are now at plaksha similarly a lot of faculty from isc bangalore so we have the best faculty in india to teach a undergraduate engineering program to our students but uh, the third thing that i like to share with you is the kind of ecosystem that we have at plaksha so we have about 120 plus founders who have collectively started the university we are a not for profit philanthropic university based out of chandigarh it's a 50 acre campus and how these founders help us is they not only put in their money but they also help our students with getting internships helping us to get research internships and also placements is something that they offer there are also plenty of scholarships available both merit based and need based scholarships that go to 100% plus so last year about 23% students who studied at, at plaksha who got into our university are on 100% financial aid whether four years of education their hostel even mess fees is free of cost so they don't pay anything to the university but these students are very good good academics they they have strong maths then they are also uh, good extra curricular co curricular act activities they participate all around and so we are looking for those kind of students who are really interested in doing a stem program with, through which they can actually solve challenges at a global scale or even at a local level so that's little bit about my university and uh, yeah thank you so much thank you very much sir thank you good morning everybody today amongst us we have a representative from tokyo international university who have joined us for the university connect fifth edition so ma'am before moving ahead can you please introduce yourself and tell us about the university that you are representing yes hi uh, so my name is hargun i'm here on behalf of tokyo international university so the university is located in central tokyo in japan and we were established in 1965 so we are fairly old uh, we rank number 4 in japan and we offer english medium courses that are taught entirely in english so you don't need to have any japanese proficiency to study and enroll in the university uh, at the moment we only teach three english courses that is uh, international relations digital business and innovation which is an it business course and business economics which is a business management degree 
And ma'am, something about the faculty and everything, if you would like to. All invite. right. So most of our faculty, almost 80% of our faculty is from outside of Japan. So uh, it is a very diverse group of uh, professors that teach at the university. And on campus currently, we are housing over 100 different you know, countries, students from 100 different countries. So the environment is very multicultural. Uh, you'll get a lot of exposure to different people, different, uh, you know, uh, countries, different, um, you know, like experiences in the classroom. So I think uh, the experience that you'll get in the campus is very different than what you would get outside because of the multidisciplinary approach that we follow. We follow a liberal arts uh, school approach, which is a very US-based approach. So, yeah. Thank you very much, ma'am. That should be enough. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Today, amongst us, we have a representative from Thapar School of Liberal Arts and Sciences. So, ma'am, before going ahead, can you please introduce yourself and give us the insight about the university? Sure. So, my name is Nandita, and I represent Thapar School of Liberal Arts and Sciences, which is based out of Patiala, Chandigarh, and I'm part of outreach team. So, Thapar School of Liberal Arts and Sciences was a recently established school in 2020, but it's a part of Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology, which has been around since 1956. So, Thapar School of Liberal Arts and Sciences offers offers four different type of degrees, which is BA, BSc, BCom, and a BBA degrees, along with 3 plus 1 program, which will result in honors program. So we offer different kind of specializations, which also have from like pure to niche specializations. So we have faculty all the way coming from the engineering school and the ongoing B school here. So we have like a best of faculty and we have the ongoing research projects which would uh, benefit students who are willing to uh, pursue research and who are planning to go ahead with like a niche master's program. So we, Tapar is the best place for them to start with. Thank you very much ma'am. That should be enough. Thank you everyone. Good morning everybody. Today amongst us we have the representative, uh, representative from University of Guelph. So sir, before moving ahead, can you in, please introduce yourself and tell us about the university that you sure. represent? Thank you. Good morning. So my name is Abhimanyu Sharma and I represent University of Guelph in India. So this is a, a comprehensive research university based in Guelph City in Ontario, Canada. So we have all the range of programs at all the levels. So bachelor's, master's and PhDs into all the fields. And so anything about the faculties and so uh, see we are top most means we are known globally for our veterinary program so our vet school is top five globally whereas we have all other programs also our Lang school of business which offer all the business programs is top two in sustainable business education then our sciences so whether it is biomedical science whether you're talking about animal biology wildlife so all these are one of the top program options within sciences then arts so we have uh, 25 plus option within arts domain like psychology being a top program, criminal justice or uh, international development study. So there are plenty of program options available for the student apart from the engineering and the top most which majority of Indian students apply for is Bachelor of Computing, Computer Science and Software Engineering majors. So these are some of the top program whereas if you want to combine the programs also so we offer major minor combinations as well. So all the programs have some listed majors and along with that you can add a sub specialization also as a minor so you can make it a more application based program in the real time thank you very much sir thank you everyone good morning everybody today amongst us we have the representative from Xavier University so ma'am before moving ahead can you please introduce yourself and tell us about the university you represent absolutely thank you so much my name is Srishti Chha I'm from Xavier University I'm the assistant regional manager for international admissions and I focus on international admissions for students coming from India uh, for Xavier University we were founded all the way back in 1831 so we are almost a 200 year old university and being a well established established institution, we offer programs in different sectors. So we have more than 90 undergraduate majors that we are offering in different areas and more than 60 minors. So whether you want to study engineering or you want to study sciences, let's say you want to study something like computer science with a sub-concentration in cyber security, or you want to study biomedical sciences, biological sciences, psychology, you want to study something like liberal arts relative subjects such as music, political science, art, theatre, fine art. 
arts or you want to study subjects like sports management and marketing, we have a good roster and chunk of programs that you can look into. Being a well-ranked and well-recognized institution, we also offer a lot of post-study work employment opportunities for students and interesting internship opportunities during their programs. And we are placed in the city of Cincinnati, which is regarded as one of the best cities for undergraduate students to seek their education and start their career. So if you want to know more, you can always look us up and get in touch with us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have uh, representatives from uh, Regents University London. And so before going ahead, can you please introduce yourself, followed by a crisp introduction about the faculty and uh, opportunities that your university provides? Uh, hi everyone, my name is Randall, Randall Fernandez, and I represent uh, Regents University London. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank Sakshi and the team at University Leap for this opportunity. Uh, it's been my first time here in Nanital and I am really looking forward uh, to the education fair. Uh, about regions, uh, so we are located in the heart of London, that's Regents uh, Royal Park. Uh, in terms of opportunities, uh, courses, we have uh, postgrad as well as undergrad courses. Uh, business management, art and design are some of the popular courses that uh, students choose at Regents. And being uh, uh, in, in line with the location, which is uh, the, uh, the city of London, there are a lot of opportunities that students could look uh, uh, up to. Okay, so in case you are interested, I'll be more than happy to give you more information. Please visit my desk and we will speak about this further. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have representative from Amity University, Jaipur. So, sir, before going ahead, can you please introduce yourself, followed by the introduction of the university? Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Saksham Sharma. I'm representing Amity University, Jaipur. Uh, Amity is a, a bigger brand of the world-renowned universities. We have 11 campuses in India mm. and 13 campuses abroad. Student had opportunity to study in India and abroad both facilities of, of uh, universities. University will be providing 76 variant courses for that like design, automation and uh, uh, computer science engineering like uh, and communication uh, and fine arts. We have psychology also right many more courses about that. Apart from the core degree, we have a choice-based credit system also available. Apart from like student is reside, uh, studying in, in BTEC CSE, he can opt either management, law, design, artificial intelligence, cyber security. It is a domain course for that. Right. University has a good placement record because we have 1 lakh plus alumni record in Forbes 500. Right, Fortune 500 companies because it's a bigger brand for that. If you known, if you're crossing a border to any of the world, it is very helpful for students to get connect with their alumni and get the place for that. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you for the information. Thank you so much for your given time. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Today, amongst us, we have representative from K R Mangalam University. So, sir, before moving moving ahead, please introduce yourself, followed by the introduction of university. Yeah. Yeah, this is Sanchat from KR Mangalam University, Gurugaon. I just gave a brief about KR Mangalam University. KR Mangalam University is at Gurugaon only and we have several schools by the name of KR Mangalam. As a group point of view, we are covering the segment of kindergarten to PhD and as a university, we have an option for undergraduation, post-graduation, doctorate level courses. On that model, we are working 70% uh, we are just focused on practical learning and 30% we are just focused on academic learning. We have several courses as like as engineering, schools of law, architecture, fashion designing, interior designing, ag agriculture, all the streams we are covered. S uh, the total schools we are covering, 11 schools we are covering. A good number of scholarship we are providing to the students uh, in uh, academic session 23-24, we are providing the 21 crores scholarship to the students. If a student score 90% of a percentage in 12th examination, then the scholarship will be 100%. And uh, if a student scored 85 to 90, then the scholarship will be 35 percent, 80 to 85, then the scholarship will be 25 percent. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have the representative from Grenoble University of Management. And uh, Miss will be talking about the introduction of the university, followed by the faculties that the university provides. Please, ma'am. Hi, good morning everybody. So, uh, hi, my name is Sharmata and I am representing Renoble Equality Management. 
So we are the top one person universities who have, you know, across the world who have the triple accreditation. So we are a very international university, and we have programs from bachelors up till masters to MBAs and all. Uh, our faculty is is again very diverse. We are very well researched faculty. The the our, uh, our we have two main campuses, which is in Grenoble and in Paris. So for students looking for their you know uh, in business management, they can they are more than welcome to come and visit us. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have the representative from World University of Design, and ma'am will be telling us about the university, faculties, and courses that the university offers. Please, ma'am. Hi, everyone. I'm from World University of Design. My name is Manpreet. Uh, I'm here to tell you about World University of Design. It is specialized for design courses, and uh, we are not uh, giving any other courses. It is specialized for uh, design and it is UGC approved. We are giving special scholarships uh, up to 50% if the student is enrolling with us. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have representative from GD Goyanka University and ma'am will be representing the university, Le Cordon Bleu. And before moving ahead, ma'am, can you please introduce yourself followed by the insights of the university? Sure, absolutely. So my name is Shruti Malhotra and I'm here to represent uh, two institutions basically. One is GD Gwenka University, Gurgaon, and second is Le Cordon Bleu, which is the oldest, finest and largest uh, institute in the uh, field of culinary and hospitality management. We are the only Indian campus of Le Cordon Bleu. When we talk about GD Gwenka, it's been close to 30 years we have been into education sector and overall university campus is close to 70 acres and we are offering close to 12 disciplines including engineering law medicine management design school uh, you know and uh, you know agriculture sciences and horticulture sciences as well the faculty is uh, top notch and in fact we have a couple of international collaborations as well so in case you know students who are interested in exploring law school of hospitality and culinary they can explore law cordembla and in case uh, you know they are interested in uh, aerophysics and uh, aeronautical engineering then we are again one of the premium institute which is offering um, aerospace engineering program alongside with that we have integrated that this aerospace engineering program with the commercial pilot training program as well right so more I think I would like to talk about it you know when students are going to visit me on stall and it's a residential campus so we have all the facilities available on campus thank you so much thank you very much ma'am thank you everyone Good morning everybody. Today amongst us we have the representative from Lumiere Education and so we'll be talking about the introduction of the university and every uh, faculty or opportunity that it offers to the students. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Uh, my name is Nirbhar Sharma. I'm here to represent Lumiere Education. Uh, what we actually do is a summer program and sort of a research program that we offer to a lot of students who are interested in pursuing research at a high school level or even at a college level. The idea is that we would connect you to a mentor from an Ivy League school in the US or a top university in the UK and essentially help you write a research paper on a topic of your choice. So this could be anything from STEM, humanities, social sciences, and would allow you to write a 15 to 20 page research paper on this topic that, that you can then use to enhance your college applications, uh, go into publication, research, and go further into academia to understand if this is the kind of journey that you would like for the rest of your life. And it also allows you to build a lot of the research and writing skills that you're going to need as you go into college from an earlier stage. So that's a little bit about the program, and I hope you guys have fun here. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have the representative from Illinois Tech, and ma'am will be talking about the opportunities that the university provides. So before starting, ma'am, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. So hello, everyone. Uh, I am Farheen Mamin. I'm the assistant director at Illinois Tech, and I look after the recruitment side of it. Uh, today, I'm here to meet uh, students from Nainital, and I'm extremely thankful for you all to spend some time with us. Uh, Illinois Tech, obviously, the name itself says that we're based in Illinois in Chicago. Uh, we are a very tech-focused institution as itself. Uh, we offer programs that are not only limited to technology, but also offer programs that are beyond tech as well. Obviously, most of the emphasized programs lie in STEM areas. So we are one of the only few institutions in the U.S. that have STEM business programs. We obviously offer the most uh, 
current in-demand programs like artificial intelligence, computer science, software development, cyber security. Beyond this, we also have a school of uh, engineering. So in engineering, we offer civil engineering, materials engineering, mechanical engineering. We offer biomedical engineering, obviously software engineering, and a few other programs that obviously can be checked on our website based on your specific areas of interest. We also have a school of science and letters, um, wherein we have focused science programs and few humanities programs that are offered. Illinois Tech is also known for its architectural buildings, and thus we have a lot. We have a B Arc, which is a Bachelor's of Architecture program and a Master's of Architecture program as well. So we have a School of Architecture. In addition to the School of Architecture, we also have a School of Design at the university. And in addition to that, we have we also have Law School at the institution. We are based in Chicago, and obviously, uh, we are right in the downtown, very close to the Lake Michigan itself. We are having few other campuses also, again in the Chicago region again. Um, in addition to that, I would like to tell you that we are a private institution, and we do offer a lot of scholarships to the international students. So if you are one such who looking to come and study in the US and are worried about your finances, do ensure to look for scholarship opportunities that every institution and for sure Illinois Tech offers to you as a student. And if you have any specific questions, please feel free to go on our website, fill up an inquiry form and our team will be in touch with you shortly. And until then, I look forward to maybe speaking to you sometime. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Greetings everybody. Today amongst us we have the representative from Moody University and Sir will be talking to us about the introduction of the university and the programs that the university offers. So, Sir, before going ahead, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Venkat Ramakrishna Saraswati. I am Head Admissions, uh, Modi University. Modi University is uh, situated at uh, Shikar, Rajasthan. It is a uh, university is established in 265 acres, Lush Green Campus. And in the university, we have schools, six schools, School of Engineering, School of Business, School of Law, School of Pharmaceuticals, School of uh, Design, and School of Liberal Arts. Where in School of Engineering, we will be give, uh, giving uh, courses like offering the courses like B.Tech and M.Tech, B.C.A., M.C.A. And Law, we have B.B.A., L.L.B. and B.A. L.L.B. and B.A. L.L.B. Honors. In, uh, MBA uh, in management, School of Business, we are offering management courses like MBA, BCom, and BBA. In School of Liberal Arts, we are offering BA, BSc, and various courses uh, belongs to. And similarly, we are offering for the uh, students who are from uh, by PC background or biology background, uh, forensic science courses like forensic science, food and nutrition, psychology. These are the courses we are offering. We have School of Design where we are offering the courses like BDES and MDES. In pharmaceutical, we have D uh, pharmacy and B pharmacy. In uh, School of uh, Liberal Arts, we have already discussed. And uh, we have School of, uh, uh, school of, we have engineering is over. What are the, engineering is over, law is over, and we have School of Business, School of, so, sir, pretty much everything is covered so Correct. that the students know. So, actually, anybody student wants to take admission, they can visit our website, modiuniversity.ac.in. And we are offering scholarships, uh, wide scholarships to the students. So, the student who is coming with a good percentage in 12th, we are giving up to 50% scholarship. And similarly, the students, we are giving um, scholarships to the student who are having very good rank in JEE or CUET or LAS, L, LSAT, or CLAT. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Today amongst us, we have the representative from Ashoka University. And ma'am will be telling us about the university and the opportunity that it offers to its students. Please. Hi, uh, I'm a representative of Ashoka University. I work with their outreach team. Uh, Ashoka University is actually one of the you know leading liberal arts universities in India. Uh, what we do, we have programs in computer science, physics, history, you name the subject and we will have that. 
we don't offer engineering or law but what we do offer is you know a combination of subjects you can do any two subjects of your liking so no two subject no two students at ashoka university are probably doing the same courses or they even have the same um, schedule you can do something like a history with biology and you know you don't have to come from a particular stream of let's say science or humanities to do that because that's what liberal arts is all about the interdisciplinarity and the freedom to choose um, whatever you want to choose the freedom to choose the kind of subjects you want to do uh, so this is what we offer at ashoka university um, yeah and i'll be happy to answer any more questions that you may have thank you thank you very much ma'am thank you everybody Greetings everyone. Today amongst us we have the representative from WPI and sir will be telling us about the university and the programs that it offers to its students. Please sir. Hi guys, this is Sri Kumar. I represent WPI. We are a US university. We are based out of uh, the city of Worcester in Massachusetts, United States of America. We are America's third oldest technological institution. We are ranked 83 in the U.S. News and World Report. Um, it's lovely to be here uh, interacting with students. One of the important things that we uh, offer is that we are a very technology-focused, research-intensive university. We offer programs that prepare people for professions that require technological sophistication, innovative mindset, and entrepreneurial spirit. So if you are a technical expert, entrepreneurial spirit you have, you should be coming into WPI. We are based out of Massachusetts. One more interesting thing is our university offers a seven-week term and the university has no failing grades. It's only A grade, B grade, or C grade, and no records at all. Uh, we offer good amount of scholarships, 25,000 per student per year, which is renewable for four years. And we look forward for looking um, for all you students uh, to be on our campus in, in uh, Worcester. Thank you, thanks a lot. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Greetings everybody. Today amongst us we have the representative from Ecole and Sir will be telling us about the university, the opportunities it provides and the programs that it provides to its students. So Sir, before moving ahead, can you please introduce yourself to the viewers? Sure, thank you so much. My name is Shane De Cruz, and I represent the Ecole Institute Lab from Delhi campus. We have a total of nine campuses globally and uh, we have 25 university connects. We also have partnership with 1,000 companies globally, so our children are well placed for any kind of job opportunities. What we offer is programs in visual communication, uh, design and digital design and game art design. Technically, these three programs are very well skill-based programs, which um, very well place the children into a market of the future, which is a 10 years, 15 years from now. What is India going to take us to? So, the new technology, the new trend, our children need to be ready for that. We also offer them programs, we also, during the four years, we teach, we give them, we teach them French as a part of the requir requirement. We also give them an international exposures, so we have, we have international exchange programs, student exchange programs, workshops, international workshops, international work days. So this way the children have an exposure, not in, in, in India, also abroad. So globally placed and globally thinking kids will obviously make a better living standards for them tomorrow. We offer of degrees in, from Galgota University, which is a BWOC degree. And also we offer an international diploma from Ecole Intuit Lab. If the child so offers, which wishes to use data game art design, he also gets a degree from Scotland. That is the Abbey University, Scotland. Rest. And uh, anything else? Question here? No, sir, not really. Um, it was anything you want to sum up with? In, in, in short, I would say that uh, you know, um, the usual run of the mill degree programs which all the universities offer, we as parents and uh, who want to guide our children, we must always think of a child being ready for the future. So we always tell the children to have something as a backup, as a skill. So this could be a great skill and an opportunity, not only to get a job, but also do a business, which they'll be fully skilled so at any time in life, they can also work independently. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your time with us. Thank you, everyone.